All right, your table topic for tonight would be photography. As you know, pictures are one of the few things that can easily lead to a transformation, but maybe you might see things that you're not supposed to see. <laughs> Supposedly. Okay, so photography. 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 Good evening, honored Toastmasters, fellow guests. Good evening. I'm a bit out of my depth here, I feel, as I'm not really a Toastmaster, and I wasn't expecting to come up here and give a speech. <laughs> so, please be merciful. So, I tackle the subject of photography. Now, I think this one resonates quite strongly with me, because in this day and age, this digital age where everyone has Facebook, and anyone with a camera, phone, fancies himself a photographer. <laughs> How many of us have visited people's profiles only to see the same expression in 200 pictures? <laughs> it's quite common. It's quite common. And yet we shouldn't discount this because the fact of the matter is, although we may poo-poo this and we may think, well, you know, so what? You're just taking a picture of yourself. What's so fascinating about that? We may write them off as narcissistic or self-centered. But that doesn't change the fact that these people have been given this gift Photography is now in everyone's hands, anyone with a phone, a Blackberry, an iPhone. And it's amazing the things that we can capture. Imagine the scenes from the Bursa 2.0 rally. How many images that shocked us, awed us, and moved us were taken that day from amateur photographers, people only armed with their telephones, their camera phones. So the gift of photography, although we have many people ranging from self styled models <laughs> to future Nobel Prize, Pulitzer Prize winners. I think the gift of photography is something that we should never take for granted, especially when it gives us a chance to capture and share with other people things that we see with our own eyes, moments that we experience, things that we want to capture and perhaps immortalize. Thank you.